Welcome back. Next two minutes, you're going to learn something amazing that will definitely blow your mind. So let us start. We are going to learn how to find out the acceleration of an infinite pulley. So these are all masses M, equal masses. All pulleys are ideal, all strings are ideal. We want to find out the acceleration of this mass. So let us understand the concept. So this is one simple Atwood machine. There are two masses. What is the tension force? I believe all of you know how to find this tension force. So tension force here is 2 Ma Mv divided by Ma plus Mv, right, times G. Now, suppose the same pulley you take on another planet, let us say moon or any other planet or anywhere else, such that their acceleration due to gravity is different. So let us say this is on moon, then this is G prime, this is Ma G prime, this is Mb G prime. So what will be the new tension force? New tension force here, this is prime, right? I have not written prime. Let me write prime here. So this is prime, T prime is equal to 2 Ma Mb by Ma plus Mb times G prime, right? This you expect. So if G is changing, tension is changing, suppose G becomes two times, tension becomes two times, G becomes one by six, tension becomes one by six, right? So now the very important thing here is that the ratio of T by G remains constant, which is mass. If pulley is same, fine. So this is the concept. This concept we will apply here and find out the acceleration of this, right? Now consider this infinite system. Here tension is T and then acceleration is A, right? So the ratio of T by A will be some factor of mass, fine? So T will be something times G, right? Some factor of mass. So that I will now write here, T by G will be some factor of mass, fine? That is equal to, understand this very, very carefully. Now. If you consider the infinite pulley, system of pulleys from this point onwards, then here tension is T by two, right? Because this is a uh, massless pulley. So here T, it will be T by two here. So this is T by two, but then this system is equivalent to, since acceleration of this is A up, acceleration of this is A downward, right? This pulley acceleration is downward. So since this pulley has acceleration downward, now you can understand or imagine that this entire system is in a different world where acceleration is G minus A downward. This entire system is in different world where acceleration is G minus A downward. You understand why I'm saying this? Because this pulley has acceleration A. When you write equations with respect to this pulley, each and every mass on this system will get a pseudo force of Ma upward, Mg is downward, so effective gravity becomes G minus A, right? So since T by G ratio remains constant, whether you are on moon or earth or any other planet, so this T by G should be equal to T by two divided by G minus A, because it is the same system, right? This is also infinite pulley. And from here onwards, there's also infinite pulley. This is, this T by G is what? This is the ratio, right? This is on earth. Now from here itself, if you consider this pulley is going down with acceleration A, then with respect to this pulley, each and every mass will have an pseudo force of Ma upward and the net acceleration is G by A. These two ratios should be equal. And from here, you get A is equal to G by two, right? So there are many other methods you can solve this, but this is the simplest and smart, smartest one. So if you understand this just in one go, you are genius. Definitely you are capable of getting a very, very good rank in J advance. So if you, uh, if you like this video, if you, if you like the way uh, I have explained this. If you learned something new, then please like this video. Please subscribe my channel also. And I will be very happy and thankful to you if you can share this video or my channel to your friends and other students also. Thank you very much. Happy learning.